we are like able to like use your previous experiences to like learn and gain from things that you've done. I think that makes you intelligent, honestly, because you're able to like reflect on things that have happened to you and like move forward and like make new outcomes. So I think that's a big part of intelligence. And so that's a big part of like life. General intelligence is overall intelligence that applies across all tasks and situations. Specific intelligence applies to one particular area. Specific intelligence is only focusing on one subject or only one thing that you're really passionate about. So like perhaps my example is math. I like math and I could like, I'm only specific into that because I know which rules to use, I know which formulas to use and yeah, stuff like that. An example of specific intelligence is I have a friend that is a really good cinematographer and whenever I have questions about my camera or what um, settings to set it to, he knows immediately what's the best thing for that situation. So that's an example of a good specific intelligence. So fluid intelligence is like applying your strategies to new problems and learning how to solve them. An example of fluid intelligence is, for example, if you're a chef and you have these set recipes that you always follow and then someone comes to your restaurant that can't eat gluten or is vegan and so you, knowing the recipes and knowing culinary skills, you take that recipe and you tweak it so that it works for that person. So an example of crystallized intelligence, I have a friend, she's my roommate actually, um, she was taught this chocolate chip cookie recipe, the best in the world, um, when she was eight. And now, because she's made it for so long, she knows exactly what to do. She knows all the steps. It's second nature to her. But these are the cookies. These are the go-to chocolate chip cookies for her. They are what they are, and she can't apply it to anything else. It's just that. <laughs> Emotional intelligence is the ability to sense and manage emotions within yourself and in others. So an example, someone who's high in emotional intelligence, I have a friend, she just knows, let's say I'm cutting potatoes and I had a bad day. She analyzes me on the way I'm cutting potatoes and knows if I'm having a good day or a bad day. Someone who's low on emotional intelligence is, let's say I'm having a bad day, I'm not hiding it, I'm cursing, I'm crying, but the person across the table just doesn't get it and doesn't know that I'm having a bad day. That would be someone who's low on emotional intelligence.